What? Well, I know, Mother. I, uh, we wish we were with you, too. Uh, has, has Grandfather proposed a toast yet? I'll tell her. I think Seneca's about to do the same thing here. No, she was telling the truth. She's up and out of bed, and she looks terrific. Uh, okay. I love the dad, too. Oh, well, what do you think about the football game? Yeah. <laughs> Seneca said the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, mother. Goodbye. <laughs> Talk about a marathon. You know, between us, we were on for over a half an hour. Well, it was almost as good as being there. No. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, if you have to spend Thanksgiving in the hospital, the trick is to have your husband as attend attending physician. You bet. <laughs> Bucky. Thanks. Oh, I said I'd tell you that Grandfather began his Thanksgiving toast with you. Well, Henry and I had the same idea. To you. With a hope that you know how thankful we are to be together today. Hmm? I'll drink to that. Thank you, both of you. See, are you all right? Yes. I was just thinking of Oliver. The dog? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I woke up early this morning and... I was remembering Thanksgivings. And there was Ollie with his head on my father's foot at dinner. Uh, Senator, have you seen pictures of Oliver? Are you kidding? I no, used to carry around a picture of him in her wallet. <laughs> Let's see, I was five years old when my father brought him home, so uh, he was ten when you were born. And I was in the first grade when he died. He was 16 years old and stiff and totally blind and and he refused to admit it. He would have made a marvelous field dog, only my father wasn't a hunter, so uh, Ollie took it all out on the squirrels and the rabbits. Mm. <laughs> He'd trek a rabbit for 20 miles, just for the fun of it. <laughs> But he hated squirrels with a passion. <laughs> <laughs> he spent most of his life trying to figure out how to climb a tree. <laughs> When I came home for Thanksgiving my junior year at college, I knew it was going to be my last visit with Ollie. It was very warm. And on Thanksgiving Day, my, my father and I sat in the sun on the terrace, and I was scratching Ollie's ears, and he was grinning the way he did when he was absolutely content. <laughs> and a squirrel skittered across the steps. Ollie couldn't see a thing at that point, but his nose was almost as good as ever. And he got up on those old stiff legs, and he was off that porch before we knew what he was doing. The squirrel headed straight across the yard for a, an old maple with Ollie right behind it. And my father and I could see what was going to happen. The squirrel jumped, and Ollie crashed headlong into that tree and collapsed. He couldn't get up. And my father knelt beside him. And Ollie just lay there and was terribly embarrassed and, and confused and in pain. And my father looked at me and said, I'd be so grateful if you'd just admit what's happening to him. I thought about that for a long while this morning. Ollie's buried on the hill behind the house. <laughs> I'd really like to climb up there one day next summer and visit his grave. Will I be alive next summer? I hope so. Something's easier. I don't understand it, but... <laughs> 